everybody and welcome to Ooh Wee! <laughs> Simply me, Lisa G. Today I'm doing an unboxing of my Oculus Quest 2 256 gigabytes. So let's get into it. I'm so excited to talk about this. I tried this yesterday for the first time. And let me tell you, let me tell you, I went to space, I rode a roller coaster, I went to a concert. I went underwater. I stayed in a luxury cabin in Colorado looking over the beautiful snow-capped mountains. I went to Japan. You can take yourself any and everywhere you want to go. Anywhere that you possibly haven't even imagined that you might want to go. I went skydiving. I jumped out of an airplane. And let me tell you, you think I'm just saying this. You're not just looking. You were totally immersing yourself in the experience. And when I tell you that I got into a race car last night that went 331 miles per hour, and I turned to my husband, and I said, hold my heart, check my heart. Okay, that is what this is, this is intense. This is intense, and I'm gonna show you what's in this box. So, you open first of all first of all this is a nice box okay so I'm gonna open this box up and show you what's inside you have the actual headset okay this is what it looks like for those of you that wear glasses it does come with this extra adapter which will help give you a little bit more space okay you have a left and a right hand controller I'm gonna get rid of this box for a moment. <laughs> On your left and right hand controllers, it has wrist straps. So when you're getting immersed in the excitement, <laughs> you don't drop your controller. Now, this is how you navigate through your entire experience. So, you're going to use these to type in your login passwords and information. You're gonna use these to navigate in your experience, to walk forward, backwards, side to side, to make your selections, to play your games. This is your controller. How does that song go? When you turn it on for the first time, it's gonna to have to do a couple of updates. Uh, make sure it's fully charged. I, I left it fully charged. You can actually take it off once you get your updates going, plug it in, and it'll make a chime noise and alert you when it's time to get into it. So now, with these controllers, now, the first thing you wanna do is get all of the apps and all of the things that you want to be able to access loaded. That takes a little bit of time. You're gonna select your apps from the main menu and go through the installation. Now, there are a lot of free applications that you can use. Now, if you want to go ahead and splurge and if something that you're into, there is a plethora <laughs> of things that you can purchase and add on, okay? So, this is not my first run-in with a VR headset. See, I had a Galaxy Gear. This is not my first run-in with Oculus. I've had one in the past, so I'm gonna show you the ones really quickly that I've had in the past, and I'm gonna tell you right now, they do not come here. They do not come close. I thought I loved VR before. <laughs> Let, I'll show you. So, this is, and this was really good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, bad talk this one. This is just, it's just dated, that's all, okay? So this was my um, Gear VR. And you can still use this through Oculus, however, actually, you cannot. A lot of the new applications and new technology do not work with this gear. Also, this one, you had to put your cell phone in it and it would overheat. This one, you don't use your cell phone. Your cell phone is sitting wherever you want it to sit, doing whatever you want it to do, while you do everything that you could possibly imagine doing. 
here. So with this one, not only do you have to put your phone inside of it, and it's very janky trying to get your phone in there, but you have to take your phone case off. This doesn't fit with your phone case. Now, so I thought I was stepping up the game, right? Because I was like, you know what? I don't need to use this gear anymore. I went to Amazon and I got me this B Next. And I was like, ooh, this is the next best thing. Everything is popping now. It has a little vent, so when your phone overheats, you can give yourself some air, right? Here's the thing with this one. I couldn't get into none of the Oculus stuff. All the good stuff was in the Oculus. And you could fit your phone in here with the case. So now, so now, so now I'm able to fit my phone in here with the case, right? Think everything's good to go? No, because I can't get into nothing that I want to get into. And then there's a movie theater app in here and a lot of questionable, that's the word I'm going to use, questionable people come and sit next to you. And it's really, really strange. Let's go back to Oculus. That's what I'm here to talk about. I just wanted to let you know that I've been there, done that, and I'm letting you know why this is where you want to be. All right? I'm just going to toss these to the side. I let the kids have this one now. I stuck it somewhere where the kids can get to it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> back to this. Did I tell y'all I went to a concert? I went to sleep at like after three in the morning last night. Why? I was at a Chance the Rapper concert. I went into this venue and I have these on, right? Let me tell you. First of all, before you go to the venue, you're at your home, your home base. And in your home base, it's where you start off the night. You get in front of a mirror, you choose your outfit, okay? You choose your hairstyle. Yes, you can do all of that. And then you leave your home and you go into the venue. And in this venue, there's theaters, it's a big lobby and you can go into the lobby and you can meet up with people in there. You can invite friends or you can just walk around the lobby and meet people and say, hey, where are you going? When I went in there, I walked in and somebody said, hey girl, hey. <laughs> I went ahead and they came up to me and you we were able to give a high five. And there's something about the high fives that I think allows you to add that person as a friend. But you can get into that once you get and check in the venue. So in this lobby to the right, there's the Nutcracker, there's upcoming concert, there's a concert tonight. It lets you know and you can hit subscribe for things that you might wanna go to. You can choose where you wanna stand, you can choose your seating if you wanna sit, there's balcony seating, there's lower level standing room only, and you're vibing. And the, the cool thing about it is that you can actually make your hands do, like if you wanna go like this, you can do that. If you wanna throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care, you can do that, right? But what was also cool is that I kinda of figured out how to use my hands and my fingers and someone walked up next to me and I noticed that they were like intrigued by the fact that I had already figured out how to make my hands go like this and how to make a fist and go like that, right? And they walked up next to me and I saw them. You can see, I saw them kind of manipulating theirs. And then I kind of went like that, like a point. And then they did the same thing. And then they walked away almost to say, oh, all right, I learned something new. Nonetheless, that was pretty cool. But I enjoyed that entire concert, front row, in room. It feels like you're there. That was amazing. So, like I said, you can schedule yourself to see Go to these events. I told you the Nutcracker was going on in there. There was a couple of concerts going on in there. There's comedy shows. That's just the tip of the iceberg because that's just in one app. I told you I went into a race car. I sat in a beautiful, luxurious uh, oasis. It was like a glass ceiling dome house. And you just see like shooting stars continuously. And I watched I added Sling. That's one of the apps that I use to watch television. I added, I added Sling and I was able to sit back, relax in this luxurious space and watch one of my favorite shows. And you know what? You forget where you are. You really forget where you are. It's amazing. It is amazing. Can't go on a vacation. Quarantine's going on right now. You have little ones and you don't get to do stuff often. You work. Your husband works, your wife works, you work and you're always working and you can't seem to get away. 
I gotta get away. I gotta get away. I gotta get away. I got to get away. <laughs> it was like, let me tell you, if you don't have this, I recommend it. I highly recommend this. It was a gift to me. And I honestly feel like this is the best gift that you can gift yourself or gift someone. I saw someone say that they got one for their kid and they're enjoying it a lot more. They got it for their 11 year old. This ain't, this, this is not for kids. It's not, it, it is, it is, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to let you know that you can enjoy this just as much because you can do so much more than just gaming. I haven't even really played a game on here yet. I haven't even gotten there because I've, there's so many things to do that I'm going to get to it. I'm just trying to get through everything that I would like to do first. It's just that amazing. And let me tell you something else that this wonderful person did who got it for me. <laughs> I got a case for it. So you know that beautiful box that it came in? The box is nice. The box is great. The box is sturdy. Look at this case. Nice, solid. I have my instructions already there. There is a compartment for this instructions, but there is an area to fit nicely your controllers. They fit nicely in there. And there is a section to house your headset as well, okay? So you have your controllers, you have your headset, and there is a spot for your charger as well. And this closes and it zips up very nicely and then it has a carrying strap. So I know there's so much more I can say about this, but I am still just on the tip of the iceberg and exploring all of the wonderful things that it can do. And if you'd like to get one of these, I already did you a favor. Just scroll on down to that description box and click on that link because I already put one in there for you. So now that I've gotten everything in here nice and neat, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up for you. Look at that. Look at how nicely that all fits. You have a zipper with a string there. Strap. And I'm good to go. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Oculus Quest 2 with 256 gigabytes of storage. This is such an amazing find and I hope you can find yourself using one of these real soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if this is your first time here, it's simply me, Lisa G. Come back and see me next time. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you virtually anywhere. Thanks for watching.